Tim Sweeney from uh, the College of the Album. I'm the dean at the D.A.R.E. campus, and uh, tonight was a premiere film about the great Glenn Ura. And what a night it really was to celebrate his life, but also to teach our students and our faculty in the community about the great work that Glenn did here in our community. And one of the things that we celebrated tonight was the Stations of the Cross. Very emotional night. Uh, it uh, really got the emotions out of our community. Our churches were here, all the denominations, and our community members, uh, commissioners, county commissioners. And uh, what, a, what a night for the College of the Album Art to celebrate such a great person as Glenn Ura. I'm Linda Lauby, president of Outer Banks Press and an old friend of Glenn and Pat Ewer, whom I met about 30 years ago when I first moved to the Outer Banks. Through those years, Glenn and I did many, many art projects together. It's been a great turnout here tonight to watch this magnificent film. And I know that Glenn would be so proud and so pleased of this effort and he would be thanking everybody who has been involved in it and actually promoting all of your talents instead of his own but as you can see by the product his talents were many this idea to to honor Glenn Ura actually came from the Arts Council and, and Chris Sawin Chris uh, contacted me and at that point, I wanted to see what our instructors at the College of the Alamo felt about it. So we had a discussion at a meeting with the art teachers, and they recommended even the English teachers' instructors get involved. So the students did all the research about Glenn. And it was not only about the research about the art of the artist, but it was also research about the man, who he was, his service to his country. And during that service, and representing, you know, uh, not only his family and his country, but, but his community here was just uh, fascinating to learn. Uh, we're, we're happy that Current TV is going to be uh, showing this, and we're also going to be showing this film throughout our curriculum here at their campus for generation after generation, and to honor not only Glenn Ura's legacy, but the art community here that we value so much. I love that this film was not just about Glenn, but it had a strong educational component. Uh, if you look at the early photos from our Kids Art Festival, Our Aegis, which is now in its 30th year, you'll see pictures of Glenn on the back of a pickup truck auctioning off artwork to really help fund the Arts Council in its early stages. So from the moment he arrived on the Outer Banks, Glenn and Pat were both all about education in the arts for the kids of Dare County. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm speechless now and that, that doesn't usually happen too much. You know, <laughs> you can talk to my students and they say I talk all the time, but um, again, on behalf of Father Walsh and Holy Redeemer Church and everybody here, Glenn will live and his legacy will live through the College of the Album One, through this church and these stations forever. And that's what this is about tonight, Glenn Euro's legacy. So thank you all so very much for coming tonight and sharing this wonderful, wonderful gentleman. Thank you. Thank you.